Hey, great. Uh, thanks for attending. Uh, my name is Jim Chase. I'm the Intel Edison product manager. And one of the things that I, I get to do on a daily basis is see all these fantastic projects being done across the world, um, people productizing on it, people making, hacking, whatever it is that they want to do. But there's, there's always a couple of standouts that take place. And what you're about to see is something that you don't, you know, these types of clashes that occur don't occur all of, every day. And traditionally, people making music see different types of instrumentation and things like that all across the, the maker fairs worldwide. But there's also other types of instrumentation that a lot of us, you know, don't ever pay too much attention to, but have just a phenomenal amount of um, connectivity with the maker space. And this is one of them. And I wanted to introduce to you uh, from Thud Rumble, probably one of the premier locations for some of the most unique uh, music genre that you might, might run across. And you'll see that here in just a minute. But uh, please, please welcome Richie Desuecito. Thanks, Jim. MakerCon, thanks for uh, having us. Uh, this is our first year involved in Maker. We actually got involved because a buddy of mine kind of uh, threw this really cool microchip uh, my way and said, his name is Scott, he's over there at Intel, and he said, what would you do with this in, in, uh, in what I do? Because apparently a lot of the stuff that we, um, we kind of work on in, in, in the DJ world always kind of requires a laptop. And that laptop, you have to take it to nightclubs, you got to take this laptop to your gigs, you got to take this laptop everywhere. And back in the day, we didn't really have this laptop. We had crates, right? When disc jockeys were in the 70s and 80s, they grew up carrying all their crates to their shows. Digital technology, Apple came around. That was no longer necessary. You didn't have to bring your crates anymore. You bring your laptop now. It's got all the digital files, all your MP3s, everything that you needed to reproduce an awesome show as a DJ. So I, we actually was work, we were working on this for about a month or two, and, and we tried all kinds of ideas. This is what I love about the maker thing. Um, we never called ourselves makers. We, we've been part of the whole Bay Area DJ mobile turntablist revolution. Uh, if you're familiar with the Invisible Scratch Pickles, we, we kind of ushered in like this whole world of turntablism and scratching and making the turntable into a bona fide musical instrument. That was kind of our goal and our mission, and we wanted to give the turntable that place. Because if you really think about it, technology is going to change year and year after year, all the time. But that turntable, the direct drive, has been in the same design for 40 years. Name me another technological, cool little invention that's been around 40 years straight. Techniques 1200. No. There's never been. This is, this is a design and, and part of like a culture that's um, kind of embedded in the rules of a, I guess, a music we call hip hop. You guys, I'm sure, are familiar with it. When I grew up, it was kind of like banned from music or kind of shunned away to the side. But I guess as we know now, hip hop is the biggest and most important cultural phenomenon that's happened for the last maybe 30, 40 years. Um, that brought us to th this world that we really, really focus on, this turntable. And in the last maybe 15 years with programs that Native Instruments and Serato have created, it has enabled DJs to come back from the grave, or DJs now to become everywhere. That's why you kind of see like super big stars becoming DJs. It's really, really easy to be a DJ now. You just need your laptop. So today I'm going to bring DJ Qbert out, and I'm going to step out and and have a little bit of a uh, thing of what we do. Hi, I am Richie Despacito, AKA Yoga Frog. What's up y'all, I'm DJ Cuber. We are Thud Rumble here from the Bay Area. We grew up here kind of like makers in our own way. We never knew for the past 20 years, making musical instruments for DJs. We have pretty much invented everything on this DJ console from 
mixers to turntables, needles, slip mats, the time code records, and even cables we've done with Monster Cable themselves. We've customized everything about it. We've helped revolutionize a movement, a movement that's been our mission, and the mission is scratching. Scratching, we believe, is the highest expression of the DJ art form. It is the most sonically acrobatic skill you can possess, being a DJ. So we help foster this mission. Tell us a little bit about what is scratching, Q? Okay, basically what scratching is, for those of you who don't know, if you take sound, any sound, um, back in the day, of course it was on vinyl, but now you can just put sound um, in your computer, uh, yeah. like that, that voice, ah uh, yeah, and you turn that into a musical instrument. You pretty much play any sound. Uh, yeah. And you just kind of like make it, kind of like go against rules of music and you turn that into a musical instrument. And that's what we are doing here at Third Room. We're trying to make all these different products to make the art of scratching um, more easier for the DJs. So throughout time, everyone used to bring their record crates and bring their records and that is their playlist. Uh, fast forward to the future. Everyone with digital technology uses their laptop, stores all their MP3 music files or whatever music files they have, and time-coded vinyl um, translates those songs, and of course, it treats it just like you would if you had a normal analog turntable record functioning with a mixer. Today, here at MakerCon, we wish to unveil two very intriguing concepts that we think will shake up the whole DJ world and that is we plan to remove the entire laptop out of this game. We were once carrying records, we will come into a time where we were once carrying laptops. How? Well, let's start with our little unveiling here live with you. We're gonna bring our lead engineer, Richard Johnson, to come up on the stage and bring you two of our concepts with Intel technology. Hi, everybody. Um, what we've done here is we've embedded the Intel Edison in different pieces of musical hardware that are meant to be standalone. So right now we have a drum machine, a Native Instruments machine. Um, and it's loaded with sounds uh, chopped up by DJ Kubert himself. And we've got it running in under a half a millisecond of latency, which is a pretty impressive feat. Um, it's almost real time. So I can try and hit this as quickly as I can, and it should be able to keep up. I don't think I can beat it. Pretty fast, right? Um, we're also opening, uh, this is all open source software, so people will be able to modify the behavior of the drum machine, add their own filters, and play around and just experiment with sound in general. Um, we've done the same with an NI Control S25 keyboard. A little quiet. And you can adjust the properties of the synthesizer and shape and mold the sound. This is impressive because standalone synthesizers generally cost two to three thousand dollars, and a controller like this is more affordable. Um, however, it has the barrier of entry of requiring a laptop or a desktop. Um, we've taken that out with the Edison, and this board is actually overkill. We've got the whole thing running on a board that is the size of the chip itself. And they can tweak and add reverb and other effects too. Last but not least, and of course, oops, no, it doesn't. So we have time code emulation, digital vinyl control. Here's a Native Instruments tractor record, and it's being decoded in real time by the Intel Edison in Linux. Uh, it's playing a beat from DJ Kubert's upcoming release, uh, Eardrum Holograms. And as you can see, I can scratch the MP3 file 
uh, just on the Edison, um, no more laptop. And this is impressive because traditionally this has required really powerful computers. Uh, you know, the, the minimum requirements for time code and tractor, I think it's a core two duo. So it's really impressive if we can have something the size of a postage stamp and actually still scratch digital audio with it. And that's the sound of the actual time code itself, the little whine that you hear. So this, so this is our, our direction. We, um, we, we pretty much started this just a month or two ago, and, and we are going in this direction. Hopefully, I think we'll get somewhere really soon. And I think we have. What we want to do is we plan to pretty much customize all the pro guys and see how they react to using their setups back to the way it used to be. It used to be a time where you engaged with your instrument. Um, now it's become like this face that's on a computer all the time for, for DJs. So we're going to bring it back to that, that feeling of, of being immersed back into your musical instrument. Let's get Kubert back here on, an, on another uh, little take. Okay, right here, DJ Kubert is going to take the turntable into its highest form and turn it into a musical instrument utilizing the Intel technology that we've embedded into his mixer. So all his music, all of his sound effects are already inside using the Intel technology that we have. Break it down, Q. Yeah, let, let's break it down. So, Q, yes. what do you think of the accuracy? That's kind of the first thing. I mean, it's super accurate because you're bypassing all the programs and it's, it's optimized. You know, it's like right to the point. And I mean, you know, there's another point to this where it's like back in the days, DJs would carry all their crates of music. And now DJs use that. a laptop. All their music is in a laptop. In the future, with this technology, you won't need a laptop anymore. So we're going to usher in the time where you used to say, I used to bring my laptop to my gigs. Yes. No more now. The future is this, the, this um, technology will be all in the mixer. And you, all you got to do is go to a club, and it'll be there. You just got to bring like a hard drive of all your music, and you can get busy already. Dancing to a laptopless mixer. Dance laptop list mixer? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, dance. Not topless. Lap, da wait, oh, laptopless. Laptopless mixer. There you go. So we're going to usher in that future. This is one of the technologies that we have showcasing at Maker Faire uh, this weekend. And um, we got a few more. Here's our next one. Okay, right here. Um, this is a big thing for DJs. I, uh, I don't know if there's any people who are interested in DJing thing, but for our world, we have never been a part of the whole maker community, and we are pretty much makers in our own thing. So this is awesome that we get to be a part of your, you know, your event and the fair this weekend. Um, we're not done. One more last thing. It's kind of our really cool, really amazing thing, and, and we don't know where this is going, but we just totally know what it does is going to transform the way music is performed again, especially in a live uh, performance or studio setting. Um, I'd like to introduce Richard and Charles Spencer, who's been working on this project. And basically what this is, is a data-driven sensor capturing turntable. Sorry about that. And um, what that means is we can track everything that the DJ does now. We can actually know what they're doing with the records. Time code is very, very exact, but as you know, that, there's a layer of that that, you know, you, um, for a scratcher, the in intricacy is still decoded by the computer. This is now data, which we can translate to something else. I think, Charles, you're best to describe it, and Rich, I'll, I'll leave it off to these guys, and we'll close it off with this amazing unit. So basically, the sensor-based turntable allows a, a tracking of the needle position throughout the performance. So we have some key data points that we take. Through sensor one, we track rotational speed of the platter. Sensor two, we track slippage, the actual scratching of a DJ. 
In sensor three, we actually track the tone arm movement. So what this data allows us to do, number one is, as Richie mentioned, reduces latency significantly. Uh, we're, also, we're also able to throw the actual CPU, excuse me, the computer out the system, the external computer out the system. And kind of the most impressive point is that we're able to capture all this data. So we enable coders, programmers to capture this data, utilize this data in a significant way to come up with your, with your own program, or come up with your own uh, imaginative idea for a DJ to manipulate. We have one idea, if you want to go into it, sure. that we went ahead and did. So right now we've got a DMX controller that's a lighting system that's normally used for stage lights. In fact, I'd be surprised if these weren't hooked up to a DMX controller right now. Um, and as you can see, moving the turntable around causes the light to move. It's kind of like a little robot. And the faster I scratch, it'll change from blue to red on the lights itself. Um, this is interesting because you can do data visualization with everything that's coming off of the turntable, not just for lighting and visuals, but um, you know, even even graphs to show you how fast your your scratches are, or um, you know how your practice is going. It's really interesting stuff. So we can actually, at the same time, you could utilize any vinyl record and control any data. So let's go ahead. Moving the, still moving the light, and you can hear the audio out of the turntable. So it's perfect for dirt stall records and scratch records. And we hope you guys like it. Thanks for letting us uh, have, be the keynote closing for this. I hope um, you guys were um, interested in something like we're into. I'm sure everybody has their own you know, weird thing, and we're going to use that whole flying beautiful thing you made in layer two. Thank you again. Thank you, Intel. Thank you, MakerCon. See you at Maker Fair. Thank you.